Welcome back to San Francisco. But what if you love barbecue, but you just don't eat meat? Well, here in the Bay Area, it just doesn't matter. <laughs> you don't need beef to have a smoking barbecue. <laughs> That's right. What puts the sizzle in a vegetarian barbecue is lots of flavorful fresh vegetables and juicy sweet fruits grilled to perfection. <laughs> to some, a barbecue without meat might seem like a donut without a hole. But not for vegan and vegetarian cooking instructor Colleen Patrick Goudreau. People have the perception that you remove the meat and you're left with side dishes. That's not how I see my plate. I see my plate filled with wonderful, delicious food. When people become vegetarian and they still want to enjoy food, it's the flavor they want. Most people are utterly confused about how to cook, what to cook, especially when they want to cook healthier and when they want to cook vegetarian. Today, Colleen and her husband, David, a fellow vegan, hit the local market to prepare for a backyard barbecue for 15 like-minded friends. We need zucchini. Let's get a couple of eggplants. We definitely need red peppers and orange and yellow. Yes, let's get all They're so pretty. Variety is definitely the spice of this barbecue. Some gold beets. So we need some tempeh for the barbecue. Yes. Yeah. And some tofu. The tofu. Okay. Excellent. I think that's it. Once home, David fires up the grill. Using a chimney allows him to heat up the coals and avoid the chemicals and lighter fluid. Meanwhile, Colleen gets cooking on the eggplant teriyaki. We're gonna make a teriyaki marinade, which just requires a little tamari, some wine vinegar, some olive oil, and of course, some garlic and ginger. And that's it, just mix it up. Next up, the kebabs. Just fresh chopped veggies and tofu mixed with a healthy dose of olive oil, lemon juice, mustard, and a few spices. You definitely want firm tofu so that it doesn't fall apart when it's cooking. Then it's on to the tempeh and seitan. Think ribs and steak without the, well, ribs and steak. <laughs> I love the barbecue tempeh. It has a really great nutty flavor, really great soy flavor, really great texture. Tempeh cooks up real crispy, especially with barbecue sauce. I love making seitan for vegetarian barbecue. It's a wheat gluten, and it basically mimics meat. Once the food is marinated, it's good to grill. From the smoky, seductive sauces... Ooh, yummy. <laughs> I'm so good. These are gonna be fabulous. ...to the robust aromas. Oh, it smells so good. It's got all the marks of truly great barbecue. Beautiful. Finally, it's time to dig in. I think we're ready to eat, folks. Woo! -hoo! Yay! All right, You're come and get it. Come and get it. Mmm, <laughs> the eggplant's delicious. It's a big hit with the vegetarians. More, please. <laughs> a vegetable-based barbecue is even more powerful than a meat-based barbecue because the vegetables within themselves are loaded with rich flavor. But could this barbecue cut it with a meat lover? I am the lone meat eater at a vegan barbecue, but I love the food. I don't miss the texture of meat. The food is fantastic. The flavors are, are outstanding. Uh, the vegetables, the marinades, the friends. I mean, that's what the barbecue is really about. You can't have a beef with that. Coming up, a guy who really needs a sunny day. See how the new solar barbecue works.